Good morning, everybody. I'm next in line to get in the tarp shed. This has been a crazy wait today. Uh, longer than I've ever had to wait to get in the tarp shed, but I mean, I had stuff to do, so I've been getting other stuff done in the back here on the computer and stuff while I wait. I've been waiting for over an hour now. There was one, two, three, four, five trucks in front of me, plus two in there, five, six, seven. And now there's a long lineup behind me yet. I think there's another five or six behind me yet that are uh, waiting to get in here as well too. So it's, it's a busy day, <clears throat> but I am next. So as soon as I'm in there, I'll throw the tarps on. I just need to throw two on. I grabbed another one of those loads uh, going down to Minnesota from Kenora, Ontario. We'll get it tarped and we'll be on our way. setting and I'm still not in the still not tarping I picked the wrong lineup there's two lineups here that one over there has had three trucks tarp and go tarp and go three and I just walked in to check on what was going on here this guy was half done one truck So I picked the wrong lineup. This lineup's just moving a little bit too slow. I've had some stuff I can get done in the meantime though. So I got caught up on other things, so that's good. So it's not like I had just sitting here twiddling my thumbs. But uh, you know, by the time I get out of here, the sun's gonna have gone down. It'll be a night ride tonight, I guess, again. Ah, winter. Can't wait till summer when the sun stays up all day and night. It's always so much more fun. We'll get out there soon though, don't worry, we'll be trucking soon. Well, the sun has gone down already. Finally getting out of here. So inside there I just tacked it down and then I bungeed the rest down outside here like we're supposed to do. From the time I rolled into the tarp shed to the time I'm finished talking to you guys right here, 45 minutes. Check the last guy over two and a half hours. Same load. And I was only inside there for 30 minutes. I the rest of it has been the last 15 minutes we're out here quickly bunging it down. Actually, you know what? No, that's not right. Other way around. 15 minutes in there putting the tarps on. 30 minutes out here. So the other way around. Not in the best mood from that, but what can you do? It's trucking, right? It's trucking. Like, don't get me wrong. I understand sometimes things just take longer, but now I wasn't even hustling. 45 minutes. You know, hour, hour and a half, maybe, for a new guy who doesn't know, quite know what he's doing. But over two and a half, almost two and three quarter hours? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what, did you have lunch while you were in there? <laughs> oh, Trucker Josh, we're not going to be in a bad mood. I'm not going to let that guy put us in a bad mood. How many hours do we have left now? Am I running out of hours? I should be able to get down to Brainerd still. Barely. The whole time I'm waiting, like my, my e-log is clicking away, right? So anyways, you guys get it. Frustrating, but tis life. Life is frustrating sometimes, that's what they say. I don't know who they are, but they have a lot of opinions. So I'm probably going to be getting 
Brainerd now. Oh, uh, pretty late. Pretty late, which means that we won't be able to get going as early tomorrow either, and it sort of pushes back the rest of my week. So hopefully we'll be able to get back on our feet tomorrow and have a better day. It's not that this is a bad day, it's just... It dragged out much longer than it had to. But... That is what it is, right? It's a nice day today. It's morning time. Uh, we made it down here uh, pretty late. We got as far as we could. Uh, so much time was wasted uh, waiting to get tarp here, but here's the load. Well, that's okay. You know, that's, uh, that's the life of a trucker, right? 
you try to make plans and then uh, the plans plan you so here we are we're gonna get this done uh we'll get this off the trailer and then we'll uh focus on our next load which i don't know what it is yet but i'm sure it'll be good and i'm sure it'll be better today will be a good day You can tell it'll be a good day because the snow is melting. It's nice and warm. Okay, let's just make sure that the trailer is, there we go, it's coming with us, the brakes work. Lights are on. And they release. Trailer wheels are turning on the passenger side and on the driver's side. Let's drive straight into that sun for a minute, eh? That sounds fun. Sort of got a button hook it a little bit here so we can see traffic coming from our right. Oh, and I'm way too nice again. I don't want to cut off this guy pulling this fifth wheel. I could have gone though, could have made it. Definitely could have made it. Yeah, now there's other traffic coming. Huh. Nice fifth wheel though. Okay, so after this pickup truck, coming from there and after this pickup truck coming from here okay there goes that one and there goes that one let's go So, we made it, getting unloaded. Look at how dirty this thing's gotten just on this trip. I had it clean. That's how fast the truck gets dirty, just one day. Well, you gotta pick and choose your days when you wash it. And it is impossible to have an 
nice clean clean truck up here in this climate especially this time of year I have the hub covers for this already I just have to put them on I'm waiting till I wash the truck next but uh, I might wash it tonight we'll see I have a load that I'm picking up in Fargo after this it does get dirty quick especially this season when everything's all so messy these tires are doing good they now have 72,000 kilometers on them uh, what, 40 some thousand miles? I'm doing alright, these are wearing down a lot faster than these. That's for sure. Wearing pretty even though, I'm pretty happy with them. And these new Firestone steers, I've been happy with too. They only have a few thousand kilometers on them now, or a few thousand miles, but so far, I mean, they're round. So, they've been good. And that's it for today's vlog, everybody. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow. Hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the little bell so you don't miss it. And I'll see you then. Stay safe out there. Drive safe. We'll see you soon.